In this video, I will be showing you how to make the data flow diagram for my project here. So let's get going. See what you need to do before to get the going with the data flow diagram that shows how the data flows in a system. You need to go here in visual, I'll be using visual paradigm for this example. So you need to go into this section here at your diagram navigator. You can also choose new up there, but you can go here and select a new data flow diagram. And this will allow a um, DFD. I would just name it something. It's not really important right now, but we can go here and we can select a process. Now I'll be starting with the, and this is actually, um, I, I should have actually renamed it. So let's just go back here and then just, okay, we, we go the other way. So we take a data flow diagram. You can also search here. So we go for the data flow diagram. We call it the context or level zero, but let's call it context here. And the other ones, they will be named level one, level two. Um, we will have the process here. This is our system. And from the system, we need to, um, this is this is the, the whole of the system. So this is where we, um, this is this is what's just, what shows at the main level of the system. So just the overall level. And this will be um, where we will say that we have a system. We have a uh, external entity that can uh, interact with the system. So in our case, this is a customer. So, and they, uh, and let's call it just, let's call it the, um, a, a, um, I, I would say private customer because this is our bakery and, and they need a web page or system that private customers can interact with the system. So we put a an arrow here that uh, some way um, that shows that the private customer, and this is something that you don't see here, but they can make an inquiry. And this is from the requirements that we've spoken with the customer about. And then the system would tell them, oh, and th then the system can reply them that maybe this has been sent or something that, and they can also give you the information about what to make an inquiry about. So in all in all, this system input and flows, they go back and forth, back and forth, forth between the private customer here. In extent to the private customer, we have these uh, Angro, as we was saying here in, uh, in, in Denmark, where I'm from, but we also call them wholesale. Uh, that's more or less something that you'll be familiar with if you're an English speaker. And a wholesale customer should also be able to make an inquiry. So, and now I will just, 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 just a quick obstruction here, but I would have to make, I would have to say that the private customer actually, because I was perhaps thinking about the wholesale customer, sorry to get confused here, but I'll just remove this one because the private uh, customer would more or less be, would only be interested in viewing the page and getting some information from the system. So they are not actually yet able to, or should not be able to, from what we talk with the, the client or the, the custom, our customer, the bakery about, they will not have to, uh, to, to, to talk to this system. So the wholesale, on the other hand, the wholesale customer, they are the ones that we need to be concerned about here because the system also needs to reply them in some way. So this, and, and because they are more there, this is, this is the more dependent on the whole, more focused on the wholesale customer rather than the, um, than the, the private customer or more or less. They, they were, they have more to say in this system because this, that's what the, the cost, the, our customer wanted if, and speaking, speaking in, in, in terms of data flow. So, Besides having the these two, we also have the admin, or let's say the, um, the the store manager as an entity here. And the store manager um, should get something from the system, and they should also be able to some way manip manipulate with the system here. <clears throat> and also we have the um, <clears throat> so 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 perhaps we're gonna s stick with these three uh, entities for the moment. So. Now we are going to be um, be, be going a a, a, um, a a level down or level up. I don't know how how you actually say, but but you, 
in terms of us going from the context level zero, we're going up to level one. So, but in some way, somebody would also say that this is going down a level because this is more fine graining the um, the understanding of the system here. So, let's uh, make another context. Let's make another diagram here. So, this is our uh, level level one. Okay. And this level one, they, we should actually try to incorporate a through visual paradigm. We should, they have a, um, a, um, and, and, um, a way of incorporating a, um, uh, so we're going to level one here. Okay. Got, okay. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's in, in level one, it's in level one here. So we're going to level one and level one <coughs> also needs um, a system here <coughs> some way. Or oh, actually, we have now we uh, um, now this is another way we're going to think of the system because the, now we look at the processes within the system. So, for example, we have a process that handles uh, inquiries from the from whole case customers. So, inquiries, inquiries, something like that, and then we have this external entity who is the wholesale customer, and they will be. Um, a wholesale customer will have to um, <clears throat> have to make the inquiry here for um, and let's say that this is um, inquiries um, this is business inquiries so so they will um, they will make the um, they will go here and then they will say okay we need something uh, from you we need to send you a message some way and this is going to this is going to, this process is going to take this message, and then it's going to um, to to put it uh, for, forward it uh, or, or some way interpret the message. Uh, so so we can um, so we can could we can get this to the another entity. Let me just look here in my notes here and then just check. It's it's been a while since I've been. Um, I've been looking at this, so I'm just going to go back here and I've I've made a um, a quick search here because this is for the exam, so I'm I will be um, just looking into it here and let's just have a look at it. DFD types, we get this one. We get how many how to the diagram here. We get this, and I was actually looking for something more here. So what you can see is I'm looking here at Visual Paradigms um, uh, homepage and this very very explicitly tells me how to uh, to get to make a um, dfd diagram within the um, visual paradigm i've did i've done it before but it's quite a long time so i'm just gonna uh, check here with my notes here and they actually have a good video also here i can see so perhaps i should find some way to display this to you uh, in some way maybe i can do this and then just say that uh, you can see my uh, no. You perhaps you cannot see it, but let's just uh, keep it this way for the moment. So I will. I perhaps I could link this in the description. And this this very good tells very uh, very in a good way tells us uh, the entities and uh, how to um, to understand these and this process. What I was talking about and data store. So we we we're missing this one, but we got all these. But let me just um, quickly. Oh shit! Uh, sorry, the uh, microphone here went a little further. I don't hope this is making too much noise in with you. So, what I will be um, doing now is I will see the external entity, uh, and and I can read up here from the description that an external entity just just for us also to get the understanding. It's quite good to have this. An external entity can represent a human system or subsystem. So this means that we don't we only don't need humans, but we also have systems and subsystems that can interact. Uh, it is where certain data comes from and goes to. It is ex external to the system we study in terms of the business process. For this reason, people used to draw external entities on the edge of diagram. So we get a um, a, a customer here. I, I I I can see it, but perhaps we should. Uh, I should try to uh, send it here. So. Let's just see, um, we're going here for the tutorials and uh, let me just see here, you have, we get this. So, uh, visual paradigm tutorials and um, there's a good 
this was the wrong one, but let's just go here and visual uh, paradigm tutorials um, DFD the more precise perhaps and then here we get actually the um, this exact same page as I was looking at on uh, and here so I will just do this for the ease of reading this so what is a data flow diagram we get an explanation here perhaps we don't need this but this was what I was reading so it is an external entity to the system we study in terms of business processes. For this reason, people use to draw the external entities on the edge of a diagram. Process um, A process is a business activity or a function. Okay, let me just pause this for a moment and let's just 